In this video, I'm going to show you how to start smoothing out some of these edges on the the around the base of the clock. I'm going to select the clock. I'm going to go into the modify panel, go into the edge selection sub object mode. I'm going to select one of the edges around the outside of the clock. I'm going to shift click this a second edge and it's going to select the ring around the clock. From here I'm going to hit connect and it's going to add another edge loop through the center of those lines. At this point I'm going to select the back edges of the clock making sure to only select the back edges of the clock so I don't start adding geometry to other port parts of the clock that I want don't want to add it to. Going to hit go to into the modify panel and I'm gonna look for chamfer and I'm gonna hit the settings and I'm gonna do two segments for the connected edges and I'm going to chamfer it about 2.5. I'm going to do the same for the front. I'm going to select one of the edges. Hopefully if I hit shift it'll select the entire ring which it did. And I'm going to hit the settings again and it'll still have that chamfer setting in there. And I'll just hit OK. I'm going to do it for the interior of the clock as well. This is just to smooth out the edges around the clock to make it a more smoother low poly model. Next, I'm going to go into the polygon object mode, sub-object mode. I'm going to hit Control A, and it's going to select all the polys. I'm going to scroll down in my edit poly list to where it says polygon smoothing groups. I'm going to select auto smooth, and it's going to auto smooth the, ed the edges of the model. And then go out of polygon sub object mode, and that's the, it for adding more lines and smoothing out the clock.